If I was a white man, I'd be running a Fortune 500 fucking company right now. But because of the information I know and where I'm from, I'm the fucking enemy of the South. <laughs> niggas is mad because the broke niggas can't run shit while a real rich nigga in the house. Does that make sense? Niggas is mad at me because, nigga, I shine too hard, nigga, and, and, and it dims their light. Man, listen, I ain't get popping in the streets. Like, I ain't no street nigga, bro. I got popping online. Being challenged, challenging myself to show people I'm a financial genius, bro. I make money off the stock market, selling houses, e-commerce, Amazon, bro. This is how you get that type of money to throw around, bro. Listen, this I'm trying to tell y'all how to get out the ghetto. I got out the ghetto serving rich people, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can really private list shit, bro, on Amazon. And just because you private listed, only you can sell it. And then you can turn around and take something for $5, nigga, and sell it for 20 I mean, it don't sound like much, but shit, nigga, you feel me? That's the that's a four times markup. You know what I'm saying? And if that's a four times markup, then you turn around and say, well, I'm selling a bunch of them now. So now you see what I'm saying? You're making four times your money. Can you guarantee that? I can make 10 times my money. Bro, I made so much money on the internet, bro. That's how I get this shit. I made so much money on the internet. That's, I'm a legend at it. I'm so much of a financial genius. People want me to be their manager just so I go up in the corporate meeting and talk shit. I've worked for power churches. Called their secret weapon. I don't want no clout, nigga. Any, any business I ever worked for, they're going to point to me and say, that's the man right here running this shit. I'm trying to run my own ship as a black man and get more black men to do it because everywhere I've been, bro, they put us on the lowest pedestal and we chase it. We, we deserve greatness too, correct? Let me tell you what this beef over you, and, and, and how y'all don't protect your black kings. Bro, I got online showing people I made money. I was showing people I made stocks. They start flagging me. They start getting mad. Oh, you, nigga, you, you posted $30,000, $40,000 and shit. You see what I'm saying? $150,000 checks and shit. Bro, you can get this shit too. The last thing I'm going to ever do, niggas, hold you back. So now these niggas done tried to control the information, try to control me, extort me, tell me, ah, man, come through us and we going to just, I don't want to be in no gang. I don't want to join your prison gang. I want to help everybody out. Bro, I'm really trying to share game and niggas is really getting in the way argue with me i share game because i want you to come online and say how does that work prove it i prove myself back to my point if i was a white man that proved that i can trade stocks like this and guarantee you money bro i'd be in a fortune 500 company playing with billions that's what they do they trade stocks and shit nigga they take people's money and investments and build on them that's it. Hey, you don't got all this hating on me. You don't got nobody out here ever saying I took nothing, stole nothing. Niggas be stealing shit from me. That's why I'm tripping. Why? Why? Why would you take something from a nigga that'll give you the shirt off his back? I got... <laughs> The only reason why I keep buying these fucking little big luxury houses is because I ain't got nowhere to keep all my shit. You see what I'm saying? I got shit to give. Get to that level, nigga, before you say you a boss. If you a, if you, you, these niggas ain't bosses. They like, mm, I'm greedy. I want everything that I sell. I want what's in his pockets. No, nigga, let me give you the game right now. Y'all still in the hood. Hustling niggas. Yo, yo, you, uh, the go, you get $10,000, you're going to be like, man, I'm going to open up a barbershop, nigga, so I can charge niggas. Niggas ain't got no money. Nigga, you're going to go get some weed so you can sell it to the niggas on the streets. You feel me? These older niggas gonna get your young kids, nigga, to do drugs so they have somebody to sell it to outside their door that they have access to. Not me. Not Cody Williams. See, I sell shit to rich people. I got shit on. I don't even sell bullshit because then you're gonna be dealing with somebody like, man, give me a better deal. I want my money back, man. I'm I don't wanna I don't wanna break your bank. I'm gonna sell rich shit to rich people because they don't mind paying taxes on it. They're just like me. I don't want it unless it costs some motherfucking extra money, motherfucker. Something special to say that I'm unique. That's the psychology of money and selling online, bro. People don't want cheap shit. So I could take some cheap shit and turn around and, and pay you for it and then turn around and sell it to me. It's enough money for everybody out here. These niggas got mad because a black man figured it out. And then this is why I'm mad because I, did, I, I hit my own lane. I ain't have to come in your way. I ain't have to. So, nigga, when niggas try to steal my game, I'm like, bro, if you came to fucking steal my game, bro, we're going to die about it. 
Because God gave me this lane. Don't look at me and say, oh, man, we from the same neighborhood. You, nigga, I could be better. I'm going to steal your shit. You come in my house, nigga. You come in my business. Nigga, you show the proper respect, nigga. That you show a white man that... Y'all niggas be having to go get jobs, making menial wages that you can't take care of your family on. And you got to kiss that man ass, nigga. K. Cole really be like, bruh, I don't got to fuck with you. Just make sure my cut come after I done shipped the product to the person, put the tracking number in, and did all the work, nigga. No cap, bruh. I'm supposed to be online teaching this shit. That's why I keep coming back. That's why I'm making this video right now. I keep coming back online because I see the condition that black people are in. These other races, these other cultures, bruh, they're called the Freemasons for a reason. They share secrets of masonry. If you built bricks, brick builders, there's secrets to how you cut it, mix it, and do everything to build these monuments. You don't give it to everybody, nigga. So the Freemasons were built off the knowledge that they had, that they can share. It wasn't like, oh, we know secret knowledge of, the, of this or that. We know how to get money, bitch. God bless the child that had his own. And that's where you bring that fucking spirituality and the blessings in, nigga. I didn't reach higher knowledge, man. And you got niggas on ghetto levels trying to bring me to who you kill. What you nigga do? Nigga, I was in prison for And that's why I should have a say over you. You can't put food on nobody plate. You like, nigga, the littlest Asian is going to be the biggest man in his family because he make the cake. He put everybody, that's how the world runs. You niggas turn around and see the nigga with everything and want to, <laughs> drugs, the nigga, 6 9 niggas thought they was going to start. Gang members thought they was going to start. Niggas thought that they was going to put some criminal shit in my legit life when I'm trying to come to the public. I fuck with rich people that, they be like, why y'all, why y'all successful black men don't ever help y'all? Cause they try to extort us and turn it to something else. You feel me? When I pull up and met of you at the park, there was a time where nigga they come out like I was Tupac or something. Oh, that nigga, bro, Cody here, Cody, Cody in the building, Cody. Oh, Cause you know, getting next to me is getting next to money. You know I'm a look, bro. Let's get you a house, bro. Let's get you, bro. I don't want to see you in the motherfucking. Pass by that motherfucking underpass where a nigga right where you see all the more pork niggas under it we used to funk with blood. Y'all see that shit? And let me tell you another thing. I be having to get away from them old pork niggas because they really be like, hey, if a nigga got something, nigga, we can move on. Bro, that's how they fucked up the swipe game. Niggas taught them how to get the money with the swipe game we was doing in the South, and the police got involved in it because they messy with shit. You can't share your information with everybody, bro. You can't let motherfuckers take your shit, period, point blank, for they self. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you the proprietor and the creator of this shit. You see what I'm saying? And that's what these fake snake ass niggas be doing out here. Assassinating black heritage. Because, nigga, if I put a nigga on to build, we all benefit. Like Pop said, man, he's, hey, hey, if one of us got it, at least some of us got it. See what I'm saying? Help a black man win. You know, nigga, we out here hating on each other, assassinating each other for these other people. Bro, that's part of your indoctrination, man. I feel bad, nigga. I, man, I can't sit in this motherfucker and have everything I want, do everything I want, and then look and see. Man, they killing niggas in the street. Like, it's easy. It, it, it's Man, come on, bro. I see niggas committing crimes, bro, and I understand that y'all don't understand. Bro, it's millions of homes out here. Hundreds of thousands, let's say that. They all worth over a million dollars. I could prom I could close my eyes and promise ain't none of these single black women got them. But when you go to the hood, all them bitches is occupying the space, nigga. You see what I'm saying, bro? How we got to stick together, quit letting bitches hate. You know what I'm saying? I had a partner. He was like, man, I need to get some money. Nigga, they want to, they, they, you didn't want to get money with me. You wanted me to explain to you how I get people money. Do it for you so you can go get it by yourself and be my competition. Bitch, suck a dick. But at the same time, I'll be like, I can give y'all niggas some game because shit. Get me to a higher level so I'll be through with it, nigga. 
I'll be looking at these other gurus online talking about finance. I'll be like, he don't know nothing. You know why? Because if you really know nothing, you wouldn't even tell people. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, hey, if you, hey, I'm getting money like this online. You're not going to go and say, here, man, put this product up, do this, da da Now you got competition. So I, for, for me, I get 60% of any money I make, you niggas. Period, point blank. But I got so much shit to share because I done did so many different things and just seeing money from so many different ones. This shit funny to me. This shit funny to me. Run my numbers up on YouTube. I'm going to get some money on YouTube next. Nigga, I'm 20 hours out on one of my pages from monetizing. This shit fun. You can make money on the internet. Come to find out without any help. See what I'm saying? How many of you motherfuckers out here got a plan of shit? And just because we from a culture that hate on each other, bro, we ain't making shit. Somebody made this shirt, nigga, and I ended up buying it. You see what I'm saying, bro? It's money for everybody. It's industries for all of us. We need to stop hating on each other and stop letting niggas make you ignorant. Yo, mama making you ignorant because she control you in the house. Because she don't want you to know what the world know. Because then you're going to be like, bitch, you're a stupid bitch. You don't know nothing about this. You, you're, you're not industrial. You're not experienced. You're not cultured. And you got these niggas that have been sitting in prison all the time coming home feeling like, nigga, uh, nigga, uh, I'm over you for what? You don't know nothing. Literally, life and growing is about experience and stuff so you can come back and share it with motherfuckers. And bro, I be on the road too much. Bro, I be online too much. I done been different places, man, telling people, look, man, I got to have a skill to bring to the table where I'm not around, I'm not allowed. How about that? And you niggas running around hating on me and all you want to do is build a trap in the hood for the next generation of kids to sell them drugs to, nigga, and manipulate their mind to go do shit. Look at Bam. In jail. Got the trap spot in jail with the niggas he used to coach. Keep these niggas from around your children that can't give them no hope. Keep these. Quit letting these niggas hate on people that come. Bro, they hating on me, bro. And I came to the internet like, I'm going to teach all y'all how to make some dough. Just so y'all can challenge me and we can sit and talk back and forth. Bro, this stop popping. If I teach you how to get dough on something, you can come back to me and be like, look, bro. Oh, nigga, I did this and tried this and switched up this on that. And then this how you go. Or I could be like, help me. Nigga, the biggest problem with getting rich online is, bro, you got to list the problem. Products. So you mean to tell me that, nigga, we can sit here and list products for everybody and everybody can be making five, ten thousand dollars Ain't got to do no criminal shit. We raising black people's level up. People, listen. When you see the Indians, my nigga, you know them motherfuckers is so, is, is psychiatrists, fucking doctors or something. When you see them, when you see the, not the Cambodians or nothing like that, nigga, but when you see the, the Filipinos building they self up too, though. But there's certain races, bro, that are synonymous with success, bro. And, and as black people, bro, people being racist because of these fuck niggas like Irv, these fuck niggas like baby drugs, criminals, criminal minded, all negative stuff. Bro, we need more people in the ghetto, need more people in our community that can help folks and not take from each other. Take, take, take. That's all you want to do. A nigga come around trying to help, and y'all take that shit like it's a threat. Like, like nigga, I'm crippling or something. Y'all niggas turned around and <laughs> nigga took our hood, built on, on, on principles of, of, of bloods, and now y'all on the west side in the county. And y'all want to tell me something? Nigga, I'll never go to the west side of the county, nigga, with the crips, nigga. The fuck? We know what they did to us. We know what happened in the hood. Or you don't and you creating your script up. Fake scripts, fake niggas that don't respect experience, history, or accomplishments. Ta-da. Don't fuck with them type of niggas, bruh. Because they going to keep you down. Your mama going to keep your black hood rap mama going to keep you down. They don't want you to know it's people that up. That's up. When you fuck with nigga, I ain't never fuck with a hood rat on Section 8. You know why? Because nigga, I be fucking with bitches that's balling. And they let you know your level. You know what I'm talking about? See, bro, see, you don't jump in water without getting wet. These niggas running around here talking big shit, but where's that, nigga? That fucking chain that, that, that Herb got from PPP loans? We all know that. You're going to be once dripping this plaid. Nigga, let me tell you about me one time and why all you niggas hating. It, it, it don't matter, nigga. I know this shit, nigga, period. I know this shit like I know my penis, nigga. You know what I'm saying? 
Period, point blank. So all this hating these niggas did is fuck y'all up. And I keep coming back, but it's fucking y'all up because I could have been explained stocks and pointed out this shit and did experience. I could have, nigga, I was showing people how to make, they laughing at me. They online making fun of me, heckling me, trolling me because my baby mama took $15,000 out of my stock account. Bitch, I had put a couple thousand in there and left it there, nigga. And I'll tell you exactly what the fuck happened. My stocks triple, quadruple. And nigga, it was 15000 nigga, and this bitch come back after taking my son, nigga, and tried to take some money out of my account. Ha ha, you telling on yourself. And now my son on the phone talking about, Dad, I don't even, we, we, hey man, I don't even, I don't even want you in my life. Go tell child support that and stop stealing from me. That's scamming. You see how these bitches make y'all crooks before y'all even grown men? Thinking it's cool to laugh about taking something from a motherfucker that got it on his own? Bitch, I'll get it again. Nigga, let me show you niggas how to get it again so you can, we can really have a community, really have a culture, not have to run behind scandalous women or snake men that ain't got shit. This nigga's on Section 8. Bro, every nigga that was trolling me, hating on me, was on Section 8. Mama dope nigga. They ain't got nothing coming, nigga. Why would you hate on a man like that? Well, you could just sit and listen and get better than this.